What is going on guys, Spasmatic here, back inside Destiny 2, and in this video, I'm gonna give you guys a guide on how to form the catalyst for the Huckleberry. The Huckleberry catalyst grants you a perk called Ambitious Assassin, which is prevalent on some other legendary weapons in the game, but this perk gives you, it overflows the magazine based on the number of rapid kills before reloading. This is really good for the Huckleberry just because the Huckleberry has a perk called Ride the Bull, which increases the rate of fire and recoil, recoil while you're holding down the trigger and kills with this weapon reloaded portion of the magazine. So obviously this farm is really good for the Huckleberry just because of the ride the bull perk. Reloading the magazine portion of it every time you get a kill is really good for the Thrall here just because Thrall are super easy to kill and especially with the catalyst of the ambitious assassin the more kills you get the more like shots you're gonna go back into your magazine because it overflows the magazine based on the number of kills you get so basically once I did I think I tested it I got around up to like 40 to 50 round magazines just because of, I mean the Huckleberry has 30. I reloaded after a while and got like a 48 round mag so that's pretty beneficial I guess to the weapon but uh, this catalyst is obtainable from doing heroic adventures in Destiny 2. Just complete the heroic adventure and it randomly drops as a reward once you're completed with it. I did mine on Mars, I did one with Alnabre, I believe it works on any planet. I just, I just decided to do it on Mars just because the farming method I'm doing it is on Mars as well. So this guide, I think I've done this uh, farming method before for the uh, faction rally weapons, which I think is really good for that as well. But um, obviously, if you guys have any farms that you'd like better than this, feel free to comment them down below. Feel free to share what you guys think is good as well, but I think this is the best method in my opinion. Especially for the Hulkaberry, just because you can basically shoot this weapon forever on the Thrall or the Acolytes that spawn, so it's easy, easy kills. I got this done literally, it's probably one of the fastest catalysts I got completed out of any others in the game, so hopefully you guys found this guide helpful. If you guys have any questions, please comment them down below, and I think that's basically it. If you guys don't want to do the EP farm, if you like, once you do the first wave of the e Escalation Protocol, you can just reload the same area and do the same thing. Or you guys can go down near the Lost Sector. I think it's like right behind where I'm standing right now. Down there, because there's a decent amount of enemies in there as well. If you don't want to like just farm EP, you can just do the EP, Lost Sector, refresh. Do the same thing over and over again. So I, that's basically it. I think this is a really efficient farm. Like I said, if you guys have anything, anything else that you think is good for this farm, comment them down below. If you guys have any questions, comment them down below as well. And if you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys later. I'm back inside Destiny 2. Peace.